Hi, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to come here and listen today. And uh, I'm going to share a lot of our uh, new exciting drill results that we've put out here over the last uh, month and uh, give you a quick overview of the company. So once I can figure out this, there you go. Um, so I'll just make some forward-looking statements today. Uh, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with these. So right now in Luminex, um, you know, we have a huge land portfolio in Ecuador. Uh, we have our main project that we're spending our capital on, the Condor Gold and Copper project. Uh, right now we've got about six and a half million ounces of gold there, about 400 million pounds of copper. There's two main areas. There's a northern epithermal area and a central uh, porphyry area. So in 2021, we did a PEA on the northern epithermal area. That was uh, about 190,000 ounces of production over a 12 year mine life and uh, we're drilling in that area right now, and that's where some of our, our more exciting results have come from in the last uh, month that I'll share with you. And then outside of Condor, we've got uh, a partnership model on the rest of our land package in Ecuador. Um, so we've, we've brought in a lot of partnerships over the years, uh, brought in about $37 million of capital uh, that way for drilling and, and cash payments to us. Right now, the two partnerships we have in place are Anglo-American, uh, and they're working on our Pegasus project. So they have about eight uh, copper porphyry targets there. They're going to be starting drilling here in the next four weeks on, on the Pegasus property. I'll show you some more details on that. And then we've got a partnership with Jogmec, uh, a Japanese group, uh, drilling our Kedius project. We did about $2 million worth of work with them in the last uh, 12 months, and they'll be doing more work uh, in 2023 on that project. So right now, just uh, we're sitting about $25 million market cap. Uh, we had about uh, $6 million on the balance sheet in June, just under four uh, at the end of September. Our largest shareholder is Ross Beatty. This is a, this is a Lumina Group company. Uh, so Ross holds about 20% of, of the company. Management holds uh, about 5%. Then we have some other large supportive shareholders, Route One out of San Francisco, and a group of Ecuadorian investors that uh, has invested uh, every round since they came in in, in 2016. Uh, research coverage, we have Haywood covering us and Red Cloud here as well. So Ecuador, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the country. I won't spend too, too much time on this, but, you know, the country has continued to get better since we got there in 2014. It's improved pretty steadily every year through three administrations now. We've seen two large-scale mines built in country. You've got Mirador producing, which is uh, operated by Tongling and China Rail. You've got uh, London Gold operating Fruit del Norte. So those two now, um, you know, about 75% of the country's mining exports when you put them together. We've got a pipeline of assets that are coming up here uh, for construction in the near term. And then uh, some projects at uh, PFS stage uh, and PEA stage, which would be our Condor project in Luminex and, and our Congreos project and our sister company, uh, Lumina Gold. So just in country, where are we here? Uh, Pegasus, uh, that partnership's in the center of the country. For those of you who are familiar with Adventus's property, it's, it's right around there. The rest of the projects we have are on trend uh, with Fruta del Norte and Mirador along the Peruvian border there. So Condor, uh, I'll just fast forward to a zoom in of that area. Uh, Condor's uh, boxed in kind of north-south with, with Lundin concessions and then Newcrest and Lundin's uh, joint venture together for exploration. This trend is the busiest in the country by far. It's had about $3 billion of capital deployed uh, here to build the two mines, plus all the exploration that's gone on. So at the top, you've got Warrensa and Solaris's project. Uh, Tarki, we own 100% of there in yellow. Kimi, we own 100% of. Um, Condor, we own 99% of. Uh, Arcadia CC is the partnership with the Japanese. And then we've got our Cascus project at the bottom of the map there. So it's a large land package. But again, our drilling right now is focused on the Condor project, so I'll spend most of my time on that today. So when we acquired Condor, uh, there'd been about $40 million spent on it US uh, at that point in up to 2016. There was about 100,000 meters of drilling. Our management group's drilled about 40,000 meters since and added uh, one significant deposit called the Camp Deposit, which is a, an underground area uh, in the northern epithermal area. So just across all the resources now, um, 
you see the four red stars at the top there. That's the northern epithermal area we ran the PEA on. So you've got camp, which is underground deposit. That's about 10% of the feed in the PEA. Uh, you've got the three open pits, Cuyas, Enma, and Soledad. That's about 90% of the feed in the PEA. Now we're drilling in between these four red stars right now and we're on to some new structures there. Um, so that's, that's where the two operating rigs are. And then in the center of the property, you've got a uh, more porphyry style area. So we've got the Santa Barbara deposit. Uh, it's gold copper porphyry there. So that's about three and a half million ounces. That was not included in the PEA because um, it would require a different processing circuit and, and trucking of ore. Um, so there's opportunities to look at that in the future, but the focus really right now is on this Condor North area. So the drilling that we've um, started or this year was really around the Locus and Camp area that you see the two upper red circles. And then you've got uh, another target, Prometador, that's uh, down in the uh, southeast corner of that map. So that's an area we'll, we'll be drilling with one rig uh, starting in December. So all this area um, you know, already has three million ounces, but we, we believe that we can add a substantial amount of underground ounces here and potentially another open pit satellite at Prometador when we go to drill that uh, later this year. So next to the Cuyas pit, um, we, we had hit this uh, new discovery here. It's called, uh, we're calling it Cuyas West. Um, we've defined about 300 meters of strike length. Some of our best results were four meters of five and a half grams per ton, four meters of eight grams per ton, nine meters of five and a half grams per ton. So we're seeing similar grades uh, to what we have at our camp deposit, if not higher. Um, right now we're gonna see, uh, now that we've defined 300 meters of strike length, we're gonna see uh, how, how uh, deep it goes and what the extent of that is. Uh, what we're really trying to do here is add more underground ounces and, and rescope a slightly less capital intensive project at, at Condor North. So that's Cuyas West. Um, now in the fifth hole at Cuyas West, we hit a new structure in the backside of that that we're calling the Ruiz structure. And, and you can see in plan map there where the two uh, red lines meet, uh, you've got Cuyas West meeting Ruiz there. Where the two structures intercept, we just put out our best drill results to date at the property. So it was five meters of 30 grams per ton where those two structures uh, intercept each other. So this is a, a phenomenal start um, for this area. So we're gonna drill just uh, down depth on that and see what the extent of it is and see if there's uh, you know, similar grades and that carries to depth. Um, so we're, the geologists are extremely excited about that um, discovery. And then, you know, lastly, we're still continuing to expand the existing camp deposit. You know, we put out results last week. Uh, we put out, uh, you know, five meters of almost 15 gram per ton material, um, a much thicker area at depth than we thought we were going to find at the camp zone here when we did this infill um, drilling. So this will add ounces to the existing resource when we do that update. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different moving pieces in this, in this area, but it's all starting to come together into what we are hoping is, uh, you know, more high grade uh, ounces there. Uh, lastly, Prometador, you know, we've done a lot of uh, field work here, so rock and soil sampling. We're getting a lot of over one gram per ton material at surface, so it's, a, it's about a one kilometer long anomaly, but in the north there's about a, a 500 meter uh, cohesive core based on the sampling that we're going to start drilling in there. So this could add, uh, you know, potentially a satellite deposit uh, to the existing pits there. So just kind of, you know, going back now that I've gone through all the areas we're adding to to talk about the, the 2021 PEA and what we had outlined there. You know, this was a 25,000 ton per day operation that you could build for about $600 million that would, you know, deliver 190,000 ounces of gold a year for 12 years. So, you know, obviously we know that the, it's a CapEx sensitive environment right now. That's why we have focused on the, the high grade underground drilling that we've been successful with here. You know, the operating costs of this PEA were, were quite attractive at $840 an ounce ASIC. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things driving that in Ecuador. You've got cheap power, uh, you've got subsidized diesel. So a lot, of, a lot of positives on the op cost side. So we just know we need to work on the CapEx side to make this a more attractive project. You know, it was a 16% IRR at $1,600 gold. So it wasn't a bad starting place, um, but we're, we're gonna bring in all these new ounces and work to improve that. 
So then outside of Condor and just talking about the Anglo American JV for a second, you know, they've put in about $16 million US since they started working on this property in 2018. Most of their work is focused at Pegasus A uh, in the north here. Um, they've defined about eight targets there that I'll show you in a second. Um, they're going to be drilling this. They're just mobilizing a rig right now. So they're going to be drilling this in the next four weeks and starting an initial maiden drill program there. Um, the way the earn-in works, it's $57 million to earn a 60% interest. If they carry us to a construction decision on a project they'd find there, they can go to 70% ownership interest. So this is a zoom in on Pegasus A. Uh, all these black circles you see on this uh, land package are, are poor free targets. This is quite a large land package for context. All of Condor that we just talked about was 10,000 hectares. This Pegasus A alone is, is over 30,000 and, and Pegasus uh, A and B together is 67,000 hectares. So it's, it's a fairly massive area. Um, Medusa, this target where you see the A to A prime white line on the top, that's where they're gonna start drilling here in the next several weeks. They're gonna start with um, you know, between 3,500 and 5,000 meters uh, of drilling at that target. And then they're gonna have a second team work to prioritize the next uh, seven targets as they go along there. So this is just a zoom in on Medusa and uh, the magnetics and ZTEM there. So it's a pretty clear porphyry intrusion. Uh, you've got a pyrite halo there. Um, definitely a porphyry. It's just gonna be a question of what, what grade uh, they hit when they start drilling. So, uh, you know, that'll be a, a Q1, Q2 news event for us. And then lastly, we've got uh, Orchidius and Jogmec. You know, they drilled about just over 2,000 meters here last year. They'll do some more work uh, next year. This is a copper molly uh, target, and uh, they're taking a pretty methodical approach. So they've, they can spend $7 million here to earn 70% uh, on the property. So, you know, in summary, and I'm happy to take lots of questions, um, we've got six and a half million ounces of gold already defined. We think we're adding a lot of high grade resources that'll rescope and change the Condor North project. Uh, we've got a huge land package with good partners. We're always looking for additional partners on our extra properties that aren't partnered already. Well, we've brought in $37 million into the company using that model so far, and we'll continue to, to pursue that. We've got a management team with a track record of de-risking and, and developing these projects and you know, has already been quite successful with what they found at Condor. And uh, we've got Ross Beatty backing the company. So that's a quick summary of Luminex and what we're up to today. And I'd encourage everyone to follow our drill results in the next couple months and as we continue to put stuff out of Condor North here. <laughs>